<laughs> All right, PJ, if I had told you three days ago, you're only going to play 38 minutes and you're going to foul out once, what would you have thought about Clemson's chances? I would have had a lot of confidence these guys, but I'll tell you what, I'd, it, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't like the odds, but I'd like the players in it. Yeah, there, there would be a lot of people on the outside not believing us just like they already were. But I believe in these guys, and if I were told that, I'd tell them to go out there and fight all they can. And they've done that. They've done exactly that, and I, uh, <clears throat> I'm proud of them, man. What can you say about R.J. Godfrey and the way that he stepped up in this tournament? He stepped up in a tremendous way. Uh, he, uh, all year, he's been fighting, fighting to get better fighting for opportunities on the court and doing his job. And he's done just that. And today he did just a little bit more. And, man, I mean, I'm so proud of him. Is it a little, you know, frustrating to kind of have to go to the bench and watch those last few seconds? But, you know, is it also fulfilling that you kind of get to see the end from a little different yeah, angle? Yeah, I mean, you got to put all that behind you now that I've got the job done. Uh, if the outcome was different, I'd be a heck of a lot more upset. And these tears probably be for different reasons, but – I mean, watching it from, from, from the bench and seeing these guys get the job done was incredible. And like I said the other night, <clears throat> that speaks to the resilience of this team, the depth of this team, that they're able to get this job done. Final thing would be, you grew up in Spartanburg. You said you wanted to lead this team to places like this. What does this mean for you now that you get to go play in a Sweet 16? It means the world, man. I, I wanted this so bad for our coaches, for the school, for the program. I mean, it's, I mean, it's, really, it, it's a dream come true, and it's not over yet. I mean, everyone knows I'm a really emotional guy. So I spray alone, I can taste it. Yeah, it's not me. Who was that? Oh. <laughs> Stop spraying alone. That's all. Oh. Anyways, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, like I said, I'm an emotional guy. And, I mean, even before the first game, I'm on the bus, and I can just feel everything. All the emotions are ready to play. So excited! Uh, I, honestly, I feel that that every day. I mean, there are times I, it comes and I'm teared up at the national anthem. Just as like when you have that hole in the ground, you have that incredible song playing. We try to like this man. I mean, it's hard not to get emotional for all those fans that love you. So it's incredible. Absolutely, man. I mean, I believe in this staff. I believe in our head coach. He believed in me from day one. Even my freshman year when I was hardly playing, getting my, my tail kicked in the dirt every day by Mayor Sims. He continued to push me, and I can't thank him enough. I mean, through every game, he's pushed me. I, I love him. I'm thankful for him. And this is exactly what I'm here to do. And, uh, yeah, I love this school, yeah. You guys talked yesterday about how bad Chase built after that loss of college game. You know, this play is done and kind of put a lot of that on his shoulders. What has he done these last two games to, to elevate and you know, play better even than he did during a good season? Yeah, well, I said yesterday as well, like, as bad as he felt, you know, over 10 or whatever it was, he couldn't turn over deep. He couldn't even over 20, and we would have lost by 25 still. It, it, nothing was going to change that game with the effort we gave, but, you know, we were able to flush that out. And before that game, towards the end of the year, Chase was arguably the best two-way guard in the league for the past two months. And so I'm so proud of him and happy for him that he was able to flush that out. That game that everyone had a bad game with, and coming here, it has been – Probably the best two-way guard in the country. I mean, it's it's incredible the stuff he's doing like car right now and leading this team out of the court whenever I'm off and he's doing a great job. Chase is not the most vocal guy, but the way he's leading with his play and his intensity is astounding right now. Have you seen something in, in walkthroughs or just like in the hotel, like a different look at his yeah, he's fantastic. I mean, I'll tell you what, uh, a few months ago he had the birth of, uh, birth of his beautiful daughter, Milani Sky, and I mean, it, it, since then he's been incredible. And it, it's, it's special to see that. And I mean, I'm so happy for him and Jordan and his mom. Um, I mean, it's, uh, it's special stuff to see, man. And he's playing his tail off. I'm, I'm so happy for him. What was the message for the team down the stretch? Especially on the bench when Baylor started making it. Yeah, uh, well, I think these guys knew along me. 
you know, they had experience. They've been to a national championship. They've won a national championship. So having that experience, that speaks volumes when you're playing these games. So knowing that they have the capability to make a run and when they do stay in calm and go in there and hitting big free throws, that was such a, a, a huge just confidence for our team and, to, and now confidence for going in the future knowing that we can handle that, handle a run like that, and also handle a lead. You know, it's, it's funny in March when you're down and you start putting pressure on a team, that's when they get tight. In the regular season, it's like, oh, no, we got to come back, we got to come back. I mean, March, you know, the comebacks are respected. And so, whenever you're leading the whole game, you got to have a way to continue to lead and continue to have the momentum and stay calm when the team makes you play. Yes, sir. Thank you. BJ, I was focused on your parents throughout the entire second half, taking shots of them, watching them go through the range of emotions of heartache and excitement and all of that. What do you think this, this journey, this day means to them? What do you think they're going to do? I mean, they're, they're so excited. I know they are. Uh, my brother went when he laid eight at Anderson. My sister, uh, she advanced deep in the tournament a couple times at Florida for volleyball. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm so excited to have the opportunity to kind of join that club a little bit and uh, continue to also represent the school and, you know, one of their, their uh, fifth Swissies team, if I'm correct. Yeah, and now we, uh, we have a shot at making them with a second final, final or, uh, Elite Eight. Is that right? Yeah, so I know they're extremely excited. And, you know, had for me. They, my mom has been to every single game this year. They're uh, they're two of my biggest supporters, and so you know, I uh, I can't thank them enough.